Oh, now I see the guards. I wonder if they were bugged out last time. Eh, that happens. God In damn it. Oh, I see you there. You think I don't see you, but I see you there. And I'm coming for your butt. But obtained. Excellent. And go through the door. Lovely. Here is the storage room for that bastard. My God. It actually took me more tries than I, than I care to count. I guess the guards actually like kind of glitched out at the end of the last game. And so I was not able to quite do everything that I needed to do. Give me all that oil and diamond dust. Uh, Amethyst dust. Richard's robust silver sword and Astro Garrus's armor. Fuck yes. Take all. My God. Give me those rewards. Anything else? It was so worth coming back for this. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. I'm going to really try and avoid doing that as much as possible. But I just, you know, I had this sneaking suspicion that there was some shit that would make it worth it. Wow. Plus seven to armor. Plus 30 to freaking vitality. Reduction of magic, resistance to bleeding and poison a little bit higher than before. But it's only got one armor slot. Uh, one enhanced armor enhancement slot. Um, so I reckon that's fine. We're good there. We got the herbalist's gloves. Yeah, I think we're okay. Did I not have a... Oh, where are the things? Enhancements. Fiber enhancement. Armor enhancement. Which will bring my armor up to eight. I think we're going to do that. Bam. Okay. Do I have anything else that will be useful for here? I don't think so. I think we're pretty well good to go. All right. So we got the trap fragment. Uh, and now I will take us back to our regularly scheduled place where I'm supposed to be. Oh, right. I actually forgot that we could listen in on you forget who you're Sheila dealing with, and... Commandant. You must Laredo's conversation here. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics, and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam <sighs> is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. You don't suppose that he's the guy that they hang in the at your feet. little trailer Enough. they had for The Witcher 3, do you? Because that would be Think a over what I said really neat little coincidence. I don't remember if he makes it through this one, to be quite frank. Okay, so I, I guess now that we listened to that successfully, uh, now we should be good to go back to where we were. So, now that all that nonsense is Turn taken care of... The door, the bastard. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, Roche. Did you expect a warmer reception? We weren't exactly the kindest in our approach. Oh, what? You haven't... Don't forget your weapons on the way out. Thanks. Thanks for the advice. Anyway, so as I was saying, now that all that's taken care of and I have my fancy new Astro Garrus's armor and... My awesome uh, Witcher's Robust Silver Sword diagram. Uh, I think it's time to take care of some of these little side quests here. First off, let's get all my shit back. Give me that. Uh, conflagration Trap. Let's see. It was Tamarian Sword. And I think that was it. Yes. Yeah, I still don't have the Silver Sword. What am I missing? Oh, really? I am only missing two Silver Ore. Well, <laughs> we can definitely take care of that. And uh, <clears throat> so I think as we're going to do a couple of these side quests here, the Indriga contract and the Necker contract as well, in the interest of time, let's go ahead and just cut right to the good stuff, shall we? Oh, hello, gents. Well, well, I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. Uh, I didn't actually want to talk to you. To cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Oh, no. Tests killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? 
I'm doing better than I think you're going to be in a couple of minutes. You see, it's a long way back to the I have a feeling this is going to end very poorly for everyone here who's not me. Yeah, just just go ahead and go. This can end non-violently. No one has to get murdered here. Also, nice poster of your vet right over your shoulder. Drop your sword and put your hands together. Okay, all right, fine. If, you, if we must do this... <laughs> Thank you, Geralt. If we must do this, ladies, let's dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. That stab in the back does not feel great, but I should be able to corner and destroy. The trick is actually to divide and conquer in this game. And also to throw your bombs. Never forget your bombs. Because they actually do really great damage. And, uh... If you do it right, and you use the right bombs and the right combinations against the ow, right enemies, which basically means being prepared beforehand, uh, you can actually get, you know, get through these the killing portions of this game really, really freaking easily, uh, deceptively so. Like, I, I mean, I don't want to say that I make it look easy, but you know. I haven't exactly had a rough time with the combat so far, except for maybe one or two times when I forgot how the fuck to play. Uh, now we've waited till noon, because the next thing that I want to do is, uh, well, I feel a little naked without that silver sword, so let's go ahead and fix this, shall we? Well, buddy, uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I can't craft it yet. I want to trade. First off... I've got a whole crap ton of very valuable junk that I think you may want. Uh, so you can go ahead and take that off of me. And... I don't know. Do I have a whole bunch of anything that I can get rid of? Not particularly. Uh, I can. You can take this arrest warrant off my hands as well as these soldier's orders. Don't read them. Don't worry. They don't have anything interesting in them, I assure you. Uh, and then since I'm not using any of these armors anymore, you can take them all... Yeah, that feels pretty good, actually. And all of these crappy weapons. Good lord, look at that weight go down. I was at like 235, now I'm at 91. That is fantastic. And 602 orins? Okay, so let's see. What do you have? <gasps> Ooh, a 19 to 25 steel sword. Ooh, and all I need is the Indriga teeth, which, and a whole bunch of iron, but I can get that. Which I actually need from the side quest. So let's go ahead and get that. Excellent. Uh, do you have any... Silver ore. Uh, I think it was two that I needed. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what, else, what else do you have besides what I sold you? A robust armor. Mm. One and one and one to bleeding, poison, and incarceration. Incarceration. Yes, it is plus one percent resistance to getting arrested, which, if you remember the beginning of the game, we absolutely need. So let's go ahead. And now that I got that, so how can we help you? Eh? Craft me an item. I have this Witcher's robust silver sword recipe and forty-five orange. So, enter. Yay! I don't know, I wish there was a little bit more ceremony to that. I feel like uh, getting your, uh, crafting an item should be a little bit more of an ordeal, but whatever. Who am I to complain? Because I have a badass new silver sword. Yeah. Which I can now use to go and slay those Neckers and Indragas, which is what we will do next. So this is Cedric. He's an elf. Greetings. Who's not exactly the worst the person in the world. Like every day in the Pontar Valley. And he holds a very valuable way. item that I need. But get to the point if you want something. I do, actually. Um, let's trade first. And then I'll get to what you actually know. I need... There's a bomb that he has. Uh, the Grape Shot Bomb. Yes. Give me the formula for that. So that I can craft a bunch. Because, as you can see, they're freaking expensive. 101 freaking orins a piece. Are you kidding me? I don't know if you noticed that, but I can craft like 20. At, uh, at least like 10. And, uh, you know, 
I think I would rather... Oh, the K-Ran trap. Uh, the K-Ran is a side quest that I haven't started yet. We'll get to that in a little bit. But as you can see, I'm just going to go into my meditation mode here. Go to alchemy. And craft a whole bunch of these freaking bombs. Be oh, I can only make four. Never mind. I thought I had more of these. Uh, I do, actually. Okay, cool. So, here's one interesting thing about alchemy. And the way that this works in this game. You see these symbols here? They represent certain uh, elements that you have to combine. And various items can be of the same element. But you have these uh, eight basic oh wait excuse me nine basic elements here and as long as you have enough to combine to make you can make the thing so it doesn't really matter if i use brionia or this amethyst dust the result will be the same i can still make the same grape shot which i'm going to make five of uh, come here there we go i don't want to make any more than that just in case i need it for something else Ooh, like the swallow potion. I kind of really want that. Uh, it's the potion that increases my vitality during combat. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And so now that I have those bombs, let me go ahead and equip them. <laughs> That's going to make taking those neckers out a lot easier. Ooh, hello. Place of power. Freaking love it. Circle of vigor. Um, uh, so I need to find these necker nests. Ooh. Hello, Indriga. Ooh, hello. I guess I can go ahead and take you all out. Uh, I need your teeth because you will be used in that jagged blade. And also, ow, really? What hit me? Oh, there's another one. And also, this is part of the Indrika contract, because when I kill a certain number of them, a queen will show up, and I'll have to slay her too. Come here. God, ow. Stop it with your annoying poking. Yeah. And by killing them, I get knowledge about them. So that's always handy. Uh, Indrigo remains? Gimme. Oh, damn it. There's more combat to be had. Oh, damn. They do poison damage, too. I totally forgot about that. Anyone else? Yes, give me those teeth. Give me them teeth. Give me them teeth. I don't want to make a necklace. I want to make a sword. Sweet, and a critical effects mutagen? I'll take it. Ow. Frickin' traps. Uh, let's see. So I need a Necker Nest or an Indriga Nest. One of the two. Let's find those. Ow. Ooh, hello, Indriga Pods. So nice to see you. Oh, and you have guardians. Well, let's take care of that, shall we? Yeah. And dodge, and here, here. Love it. Uh, can we go ahead and switch over to maybe the salmon bombs and... Nope, too close, too close. Definitely too close. Now we can do it. And throw. Perfect. Well, less perfect because it doesn't really have that great of effect on the Indrigo as it turns out. Love it. Sweet, so now I can go through the Indrika contract. Open and slay these cocoons. Which might actually give me the uh, Indrika embryo that, or Indrika fetus, rather, that that creepy lady was asking for. Yep, Indrika embryo, there it is. You gonna touch it with your hands, Geralt? That's gross. There's more? No, there's not more. It just looks like there's more. There should be another Indrigo corpse, though. Weird.
Oh well. Anywho, open this other one. And we'll slay it too. Hey ya! Hey ya! Yeah. Anyone else? Anyone showing up to defend it? No? Cool. Give me that embryo. Give me that embryo! And let's take out this third one and we'll move on to the next nest. Uh, I have to be careful because I need to make sure that I get 15 teeth before I actually finish this quest. Uh, or else they actually stop spawning in this area. And that's a bad bad. Speaking of bad bads, here's the queen. And she kind of sucks. Because you can't hit her from the front. So you absolutely have to sneak up on her from behind. <laughs> but, uh, ow. She hurts for a lot of damage. And she does poison. Ow. And she interrupts you from getting around her. Ow. And she breathes poison. Ugh. But if you can stab her in that big old fat ass, then uh, you got yourself a good game. <laughs> Shit. I think I might be about to get slain. Yup. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, at least I've got the teeth. I'll have to go back and get some more. We'll find her again in a minute. Oh, look what I found. I was on my way back to that uh, nest over, or to the Indriga nest over there, and I just happened to find a whole bunch of necker nests. So uh, we're gonna take care of this real quick because these are fun, actually. My giant silver sword of robustiness is going to slay all the neckers today. Yeah. And see, the thing that sucks is if you accident out, if you accidentally take the out steel sword, you do shit for nothing for damage against these guys, and this fight becomes a lot harder. Uh, and also, I probably should have used some potions beforehand, but oh well. That's uh, like it just said. That's a knowledge gained. <laughs> All right, killed him, slayed him. Yeah, love it. Can I get some more knowledge? Can a brother get some more knowledge up in here? Can I at least get some loot? Yes, I can. Sweet. I think those eyes are actually considered trophies and give me little bonuses if I equip them. But, uh... Oh, God. There's more. But I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah! <laughs> I love that little flippy move. That's one of my favorites. Give me the loot. Thank you. Thank you. And there should have been some, well, I guess that's what I got the bigger ones from. Whatever, the bigger bags of, oh, yep, yeah, like that. The lesser range mutagen and things of that nature. Probably came from the Necker Warriors. Uh, but I, I guess I didn't learn enough about them to figure out what to do about their nests. Maybe I have to, aha, maybe I have to fight some more. Hey -ya. And hey -ya. <laughs> Nope, no more knowledge gained. Give me more knowledge. I could probably go around town and try and find some books and read up about them and whatnot, but that's that's so much like actual work. I don't think I wanna do that. I think I'm just gonna slay my way through them. That sounds way more fun. Yeah. Speaking of, yeah. Eee, oh, slaying. Oh, it's my favorite activity. Give me another necker nest. Damn it. I really wanna I really wanna just bomb one of these things. That would be great. Yay! I finally learned enough to learn what the hell to do. Jeez, crumb. I had to kill probably like 15 more after that. Oh well. Now I know how to defeat them. <laughs> the way that I already knew how. By dropping bombs right into the middle of their damn nests. So let's put that away. Can I drop the bomb? Yes, I can. And... Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> oh, did I see some loot? I think I did. I think I saw more loot than that. Did I not? Yes, there it is. Excellent. Give me all of the loot. There was another one right over here. Sweet. The only bad part is it actually does take you from uh, from your bomb inventory when you do that, because you are actually using your bombs, which is why it's rather important that I was able to craft more than 
I could actually hold at that time because I knew that I was gonna probably use a couple of them doing this. Uh, where are those other two? I know there were two other ones. There's one. And where there's one, there's usually a second somewhere very close by. Let me not stand near the nest when it explodes because uh, that would actually hurt really bad. Also, I hear combat coming. Damn it. Really? They're coming from that direction? Oh, steel sword is not effective. There we go. See what I mean? Totally not effective against them, but once I equip the silver sword, it's pretty much hammer time. Uh, where's that second nest? There's us they're usually located in pairs. Ow! Fucking trap. So I found the Indriga pods again, but that doesn't help me with this freaking necker nest situation. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, so this is the fourth nest. I just found it. And <laughs> where did I find it? Why did it take me so long to find, you ask? Why wasn't it right next to the other ones, you ask? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was maybe because it was all the way down at the bottom of this fucking river. Are you kidding me? All the rest of them were like up fucking here, and I had to travel all the way down to the end of the river to find this last nest. What a pain in the dick. God, Witcher 2, what a pain in the dick. Fine, we'll destroy the last fucking nest. Good, good, good. Shit, almost forgot to run. Okay, so that's one contract down. <sighs> oh, I didn't notice that I, up, I leveled up there. Uh, I reckon that we can go ahead and add another one of our vigor, uh, another bar to our vigor. And get more regeneration out of combat, because that sounds like a good idea. And also, can we... Can we mutate that sucker? Because that would be kind of cool. Uh, critical effects muted. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to take that. That sounds like a good idea. All right, so now we have a third freaking Vigor Bar, which lets us use three spells inside of combat instead of two. Uh, we can go in and turn them into Necker Contract, but it's time to collect the Indrigo one. Uh, oh, and those teeth that I mentioned? Yeah, it turns out they don't really drop from the Warriors that much. They drop from the regular Indrigas and the Queen, so kind of need to uh, be wary of that. Also, that charge attack is superbly annoying die okay cool uh give me the stuff no i don't want necrotief necrotief <laughs> yo give me some of them necrotief just give me the indriga stuff there we go that's what i want uh except you didn't have any teeth of course you didn't i believe we just went over all of that nonsense yay sometimes they have it i mean sometimes you get lucky but for the most part, yeah. Uh, anywho, so let's go ahead and put the Indrig contract on watch. Um, and they were over in this general area, if I remember correctly. So let's go back over there. Okay, two out of three gross pods slain. Let's go ahead and actually not do that. Let's meditate first. And drink some potions here because I have a feeling that uh, killing this queen is going to be a lot harder than uh, than I remember it being. Jesus. And I'm only on normal difficulty. Like, what would it be like if I was playing on dark? Ugh. I, uh, ugh. I don't even want to imagine. Okay. So that takes care of that. I've got the whetstone, which lets me do a little bit more sword damage. Ah. I think I may be mostly okay. Let's go ahead and pop this like a little zit. And summon the queen. Uh, but first, let's put down a trap so that when she comes into it, and I'm not standing in the middle of it, how much damage did that do? Absolutely, ow, nothing. Perfect. Perfect. Fuck. Ooh. <gasps> what about this Earden trap? Yes, because when she hits it, I can get around behind her and then slash her in the ass. That's the trick right there. That's how you defeat the queen. 
You lay down an Earden Trap. You wait for it. And you kick her ass. Oh my god. I am inside of her. I'm doing so much damage right now. Oh, sweet Christ. You have no idea how much trouble she has given me. Oh my god. I totally forgot that I can just trap her in my magic. Because I'm a witcher. And trapping monsters is what I do. Fucking, there's the queen dead. Perfect. Like you're supposed to do it. That's amazing. Hello, Queenie. What you got for me? Oh, God. You got more warriors for me. Oh, well. Nope. Never mind. Regular Indriga. Cool. Because these are the ones that actually drop teeth anyway. The Indrigas and the Queens. The Indriga warriors that you see me fight every so often, those actually don't drop the teeth on a regular basis. But the Queen does. As well as the regular ones. Uh, so how many actually do I have? Um, Indriga Teeth. Really? I only have five? Shit. Okay, let's save. And go ahead and find the other set of nests, shall we? What the fuck? Finally, I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. What hospital? The one over there? That I can't I'm see because of the rain? I'm a medic from Edo, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. Oh, hi, Rupert. The best place for herb picking. Yeah, they're, they're, so we warned, in case you haven't noticed, they're kind of crawling with things. Got as far as the site of the fire, no sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something... Spooky. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Oh, I Feel see. That? Something approaches. Help us! Huh. How about that little spooky side quest over there? Defeat the Neckers and take the ruins. Oh god, Neckers. Oh god, pouring rain. Oh god. Terrible help from some scientist. Ugh. Clearly you're not a fighter. Can I can I get the loot? Because that would be kinda cool. Sweet. Look at that. Wow. Look at all that. Crazed Necker loot. Uh we'll come back to that as soon as I finish finding this nest. Damn, they hide these well. Okay, let's save. And I have... <laughs> 14 teeth. Uh, I really hope this queen gives it to me. Because otherwise that's going to be really... Oh, that's, that's the steel sword. Otherwise that's going to be super annoying. God, if I... Okay, here's the queen. Um, let's get out the Earden spell. And let's trap this bitch. Come on, Queenie. How you doing, baby? It's good to see you. I just want to play. Oh, God. Ow, really? How did that not? Oh, God. Oh, my health. Oh, my life. Oh. Oh, saved by the sweet nothings of that circle of life. Oh. Okay. So let's take our swings. Get out of the way. Oh, fuck. I'm trapped in a corner. I hate being put in a corner. God. Ugh. Come here, Andrika. I'm going to end this right oh, after you finish spitting on me. Right. Come here. Come here. I said right now. I said I'm going to end this right now. I said I'm going to end this right now. Oh. Oh my god. That took way longer than it should have. Greater vitality, mutagen, lesser power, lesser vi Oh my god, so much shit. But any teeth? Were there any teeth? <gasps> there were no teeth. I only have 14 teeth. <laughs> oh, there are some teeth right here. Sweet. So that's 15 teeth. We've got enough, finally, to make that freaking jagged blade. Oh my god, where'd it go? Right there. Jagged blade. I'm gonna go get the seven iron ore. I will meet you back in town. And we're gonna finish this fucking episode. Finally! So first things first, the guy that I actually need to turn in those contract quests to is right inside of here. Right upstairs inside of here. Because it's nighttime. 
He's probably sleeping. Yep. Hi, buddy. Luis Mersch. Uh, I eliminated the Neckers. Necker remains as proof of. I know what they prove, Witcher. The reward is yours. Oh, excellent. Thank you, buddy. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? <gasps> and now to turn in the Indriga contract. I solved your worm problem. I believe you, but the common dog It's okay, don't worry. I've got enough. a whole bunch of their remains left. Here's your coin. Thank you kindly. What? So I got 75 XP. And new quest phase in the contracts. Oh, as in they're done. Excellent. Cool. Having paid the Witcher, Mr. Much Luck. Having paid the Witcher, not before deducting a monstrous tax, thus ended the Indraga Endeavor. Excellent. Oh, wow. I've got a Witcher's superb su silver sword to craft. Great. I'm going to enjoy doing that. All I oh, and all I'm missing is four silver. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Uh, let's see. I picked up a Karen trap on the way here. Uh, I have this Indrika trophy, which will actually give me plus three to armor. That's nice. And I have a whole bunch of shit to sell. Uh, so it's Jagged Blade time. Hello, dwarf. So how can we help you? Well, you can start out by selling me, what was it, nine iron? Sweet. That's the most amazing news I've ever heard. Let me go ahead and get one extra than I think, just to be on the safe side. And so can we help you, eh? now you can craft me an item. <gasps> Jagged blade. Oh, I have more than enough money. Create. Oh, baby. That's going to be so pretty. Jagged blade with two upgrade components, inside of which I can put... Oh, where are they at? Uh, enhancements, that's the one. The Sun Rune, which does more damage. Yes. And... I'm thinking the Earth Rune. Because it looks like I may use this one for a little bit. I know I keep saying that about all the swords that I get, but come on, 20 to 26 damage? That has to be around for a while, am I right? And it already does bleeding and poison damage. Ah, oh, so I don't need to make it do incineration. But I kind of really want that extra vitality. And if it's my steel sword, the one... Yeah, no, that, that totally doing it. Okay. That's freaking awesome. I just need to learn to block more, apparently. Cool. What does it look like? Oh, it's so pretty, and everybody's freaking out. Oh, my God, and look at the runes on it. Oh, I get how the system works now. 